to walk in the way of the man who still the waters. Call to walk in the way of the man who calm the sea. Call to live in a world to be free to live for others. Call to walk in the way of the man from Galilee. Hear the word, that's the word that's been said for all God's children. Hear the word, that's the word that's been said for you and me. It's the word of our life you are called to give to your people. It's the word that will give us a possibility. My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of Love. Today we are going to reflect on the theme, A New Call, to Saint Anthony, who is called Fernando. Let us reflect on our own call. For what has the Lord called me? If we are still not aware of this purpose, let us reflect. Let us know through our prayers and meditation the purpose of our call. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times we have knowingly sinned. Let us confess together. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Bless Mary as a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 25, verses 13 to 21. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priest and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him 
and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of his crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died but Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Your response. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Your response. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. Your response. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do this bidding. Your response. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I have told you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 21, verses 15 to 19. Jesus showed himself to his disciples, and after they had eaten, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? He answered, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He replied, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Look after my sheep. Then he said to him third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was upset that he asked him the third time, Do you love me? He said, Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. I tell you most solemnly, when you were young, you put on your own belt and walked where you liked. But when you grow old, 
you will stretch out your hands and somebody else will put a belt round you and take you where you would rather not go in these words he indicated the kind of death by which peter would give glory to god after this he said follow me the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters the call of god is a very important thing in our lives however many of us do not bother about the call we take it for granted the very purpose of life rather than following god we follow all other worldly ways but jesus knows what he wants from us when jesus showed himself to his disciples as we see chapter 21 verses 15 to 19 that Jesus wanted to get affirmed and confirmed the vocation of Peter the purpose for which he has to be a leader a vocation is not for one's own prestige vocation is not for self service vocation is not for the self glorification our vocation is at the service of the needy the poor and therefore when jesus asks peter first time second time he is okay third time he is upset he said do you love me and peter says yes lord i love you and then you feed my lambs he said first time second time he says look after my sheep look after the innocent and the third time when the lord asks peter is upset and he says to the lord lord you know that i love you at that time jesus says feed my sheep look after my sheep be for my sheep risk your life for my sheep this is what we are called to do when we are reflecting on the life of saint anthony in order that we imitate christ very strongly saint anthony now has another call a call within a call a new call so far he was within the boundaries of prayer meditation learning preaching but now the call is to go beyond to enact to act the love of god in a truer self in a practical self when he sees the graves of the five martyrs he is really taken up he is taken up by the work for which these five died the five franciscans and he begins to feel his new vocation we saw in the life of mother teresa most of us are very familiar she lives her life probably where she lived a very comfortable life and she goes to the peripheral at the service of the poor in a practical life to touch them to heal them to bring them to rehabilitate them to bring them to new life to show them the truer self who is christ so we are called 
now as we see in the life of saint anthony to live this true vocation to shift from one way of life to another in order to be at the better service of christ here he feels that he should serve the poor he has the longing to die a martyr for the sake of christ his new vocation comes from the life giving people people were tortured people were killed and this is a real vocation sometimes our vocation comes probably when we have to share the story by seeing some priests by seeing some bishops by seeing the way of life of some people but seeing the life of martyrs is totally a different thing many a times we want to live in a comfortable life luxurious life but to accept the life of the martyrs is a real challenge to accept the life of christ crucified is a real challenge and saint anthony now reaches to know the monastery of saint anthony of egypt he now begins to feel that he should go to morocco to serve the muslims to serve the non christians along with the mission god has given he takes up the challenge immediately with a lot of disturbances within him he goes ahead along with brother philip he goes and finally goes and joins saint anthony of egypt's monastery which belongs to the franciscan friars my dear brothers and sisters it is not difficult for a lover of christ to live comfortable life and go to the life that has challenges but it is difficult for someone who loves the world loves the world's wealth luxury to live comfortable life and to go to the life of challenge let us learn from saint anthony who changed his way of life in order to be more closer to christ and to imitate christ who is crucified through the martyrs who gave their life for his people amen taste and see how good a god can be the lord at all times my mouth will proclaim his praise my soul make its boast in the lord our god let the humble hear and be glad taste and see how good a god can be oh taste and see how good a god can be pray my brothers my sisters that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to god the father almighty may, may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church accept o lord we pray the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries 
which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Justin, the martyr, with Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. Will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, let us say the Navina prayer to Saint Anthony. I salute you, great Saint Anthony, and rejoice at the favours which our Lord has so liberally bestowed on you. I remind you especially of that blessed moment when the divine infant Jesus condescended to embrace and fondly caress you. Oh, what great happiness and joy must have filled your heart on that occasion. By this special prerogative and by the joy of your beatific vision, by which you now behold him face to face, I beg, entreat, and conjure you, O dear Saint Anthony, to help me in my afflictions, troubles, and anxieties, particularly concerning. Let us mention our intentions here. O 
ओ लेट योर हार्ट बी मूव टू इंटरसीड फॉर मी टू हेयर एंड एंसर मी टेल आर लॉर्ड ऑफ द वॉन्ट्स एंड नेसेसिटीज ऑफ योर डिवोटेड क्लाइंट वन वर्ड वन साय फ्रॉम योर हार्ट विच जीजस लव्ड सो मच विल क्राउन माई सक्सेस एंड फिल मी विद जॉय एंड ग्रैटिट्यूड ए मैन आर फादर हु आर्ट इन हैवन हेलो बी दाई नेम दाई किंगडम खाम दाई वर्ल बी डन ऑन अर्थ एज इट इज इन हैवन Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love. and serve the lord thanks be to god my dear friends wishing you all a very joyful day <laughs>